guys, today we're going to talk about on what is APA. An APA stands for American Psychological Association. An APA citation style is a way to show your professors or even your teachers what research you used in your assignment. It includes the author's name, publication date, title of the work, and publisher. So basically, ginagamit to, we use this one to cite the information that we gathered. It's either from the internet, from the book, or from the journals or articles. So you have to cite the owner of that idea or topic. No, you don't have to use it na wala ka man lang paalam or hindi ka man lang nagbibigay ng credit because that will fall under academic dishonesty also known as plagiarism so it's illegal so let's start with one author only here we have an example Erlinda Serrano the date of publication was August 11, 2018 we have two different ways ng pagsasite ng um, information na nag-gather natin. On the left side, we have parenthetical citation and on the right side, we have the narrative citation. Okay? So, in parenthetical citation, we have here open and close parenthesis Serrano, 2018. So, ganyan-ganyan po yung makikita ko or yung dapat makita sa inyong academic paper no kapag nag uh, kapag ang ginamit niya ay parenthetical citation. So here sa pagsasite ng mga author, you don't have to put their name. Ang kailangan mo lang i-include ay yung kanilang surname and yung date ng publication. Okay, kailan ginagamit sa paren si parenthetical citation? Kapag ka, for example, ang nauna mong ilagay ay yung pinaka statement nila. For example, yung statement nila, for example, education is the most powerful weapon. Ganyan, ganyan. And then, saka mo ilalagay sa dulo yung parenthetical citation na, sino ba nagsabi noon? Sabi natin si Mandela. So, you have to put sa dulo na, open and close parenthesis, Mandela, um, comma, and then kung kailan niya yun binanggit. So, that is just an example only, okay? So, in parenthetical citation, nasa dulong part siya lagi naka-include or nakalagay. On the other hand, we have narrative citation. Kung si parenthetical na sa dulong part siya ng statement or ng idea, si narrative citation ay nasa unahang bahagi ng statement. So here, kung nakapapansin nyo, nasa labas na ng uh, parenthesis sa Serrano, yung author itself. Kasi we are talking about narrative citation. Dito napapasok yung in-text citation na tinatawag. So here, uh, we have Serrano, open and close parenthesis, 2018. Hindi mo na kailangan ilagay yung name niya, no? You have to put only his or her surname, kung sino man yung author na tinutukoy mo dyan. So, for example, paano siya gamitin in a narrative form? For example, according to Serrano, open and close parenthesis, 2018, and then comma, and then yung statement o yung idea na gusto mong ilagay dun sa iyong um, academic text. ba Nagbigay ka ng credit. Sino yung nagsabi ng statement na yon? Kanino nang galing yung idea na yon? Kanino pa? Kundi galing kay Serrano. Kailan siya nabanggit or pinablish yung information na yon? Or kailan nag-exist or whatsoever it is? Kung ano man tawag doon? So that was noong 20. 18. So, that's the difference between parenthetical and narrative citation. Huwag nyo kakaligtaan yung part na yan, ha? Yung, yung mga parenthesis, kung ano naka-include lamang. So, that is only for one author. Isang author lang yung pinag-uusapan dyan. Next one, we have two authors. So, dalawa naman, pinag-uusapan. We have here authors Erlinda Serrano and Leo Rustia. And the date of publication was August 11, 2018. So, we also have parenthetical and narrative citation pa din. So, kapag dalawang author ng pinag-uusapan natin, na magiging itsura na niyan sa parenthetical citation ay ganito na. We have open and close parenthesis na uh, naka-include sa loob ng parenthesis yung dalawang author. Again, you don't have have to put their names no what you uh, what you want what what do we need to include in this is yung kanilang surname lamang so we have Serrano and Rustia kasi yun yung kanilang surname comma and then yung date of publication that was 2018 so here ma'am bakit um, pwede po bang i 
yung end na symbol na yan, pwede po bang pa word type po siya? Hindi po pwede kasi we are talking about parenthetical citation. Pwede mo lamang siyang gawin kapag ang tinutukoy mo na ay narrative citation. Tingnan nyo yung sa part ng narrative citation. Bukod sa nasa labas na yung surname, bukod, nasa, bukod sa nasa labas na ng parenthesis, yung surname, yung symbol kanina na end sa parenthetical ay naging word type na siya pagdating sa narrative. So, we have Serrano and Rustia, open and close parenthesis 2018. So, that is for narrative citation. Yun po yung kanilang pagkakaiba. Pag dalawang authors na, or two authors na ang pinag-uusapan, yung symbolic na end kanina, yung symbol na end kanina, sa parenthetical lang yon. Pagdating sa narrative, kailangan pa word type na siya. Okay? So, that is for two authors. Huwag malilito. Next one, we have three or more authors. We have Erlinda Serrano, Leo Rustia, and Cleo Mendez. Date of publication was August 11, 2018. Same pa din. Meron tayong parenthetical and narrative citation. So, tingnan natin paano natin siya isa-cite. Paano yung tamang pag-cite kapag ka maramihang author na yung tinutu uh, kailangang i-include. So, here in parenthetical, palagi siyang nasa looban ng parenthesis. So, we have here Serrano et al. Tuldok, I mean, tama, Tuldok, and then comma, then 2018. So, here, ma'am, bakit sa si Serrano lang po ang nakalagay? I mean, yung buo lang, yung pagka, bakit siya lang po yung nailagay yung pangalan na buo? I mean, yung surname na buo. So, kasi kapag ka three or more authors na pinag-uusapan, dito na papasok yung tinatawag nating et al. What do we mean by et al? That means end all. Ibig sabihin, kung sino na, matik na yun, kung sino yung mga kasama ni Serrano dun sa um, source na yun, or dun sa information na kung saan gusto nyo i-include sa inyong academic paper, so matik na nakasama sila dun, naka-include na sila dun sa et al na iyon. Ma'am, pwede po bang ano, yung alphabetical order ko, kung sino yung na, mas nauna yung letter, yun po yung ilalagay ko sa parenthetical citation. Hindi po ang palagi nyo pong tatandaan kapag parenthetical cit uh, citation ng three or more authors, always remember na kung sino yung unang author na nakalagay doon sa libro man yan, sa journal man yan, sa article, sa website. Kung sino yung nauna, yun po yung palaging naka-include sa parenthetical cit citation. And the rest, matik na yun. Ang ilalagay nyo lang, et al, um, dot, and then comma, and then 2018. Okay? Naka-include pa rin siya yung mga yon sa loob ng parenthesis. Okay? Et al means end all. Matik na yon, Nakasama na sila Leo at saka si Cleo. Next one, in narrative citation, we have here Serrano et al. Open and close parenthesis 2018. Actually, wala namang uh, mer medyong pag Merong konting pagbabago aside sa nasa labas na ng parenthesis yung surname ni Serrano. Um, hindi mo na kailangang lagyan ng dot and then comma. No? Kung napapansin nyo, nakalagay na siyang Serrano et al. 2018. So, kapag ka sinight mo yan sa narrative citation mo, magiging according to Serrano et al. 2018, comma, and then yung statement nila. O yung idea nilang tatlo. So, matik na yun. Pag sinabi natin et al. and all. So, included na yung dalawa doon. Matik na. Next one, we have group authors with abbreviation. We have here an example, American Psychological Association. Date of publication was January 1, 2020. We also have parenthetical and uh, narrative citation. Let's see what's the difference between the two kapag ang pinag-uusapan ay group of authors with abbreviation. In first citation, sa unang uh, pagsisite mo nito sa iyong academic paper, ganito yung dapat niyang maging itsura. So, open and close parenthesis. American Psychological Association, square bracket, yung abbreviation ng grupo ng mga authors na yun, A, P, A, comma, and then date of publication, 2020. So, yun ay kung yun yung unang pagsisite, no? Unang best ng pagsisite. For example, isasite mo sila ulit, no? Sa iyong academic paper, sa pangalawa, pangatlo, at pangapat na pagkakataon, gusto mo sila ulit isite. So, ang kailangan mong gawin, hindi mo na kailangang i-include yung kanilang, yung buong pangalan ng kanilang grupo. So, what you need to do is, what do you need to do 
is to open and close parentheses yung abbreviation ng grupo nila, which is APA, di ba? Comma, and then 2020. If and only if, kung babanggitin mo lang sila ulit sa iyong academic paper sa pangalawang pagkakataon or pangatlo, pangapat. But, kung unang bes mo lang or isang bes mo lang sila babanggitin, ang kailangan mong gawin syempre, yung first one dyan nakalagay sa PowerPoint. Naka-include yung buong uh, pangalan ng kanilang grupo and then square bracket yung abbreviation ng grupo and then yung date of publication. So, take note that baka magkalituhan. On the other hand, we have in narrative citation, ganito na magiging itsura niya. We have American Psychological Association, open and close parenthesis. Ang abbreviation ay nasa loob ng parenthesis kasama ng date of publication. Okay? Yan ay sa unang attempt mo or sa unang pagsasite mo lamang. Pero for example, gusto mo silang isite sa pangalawa, pangatlo, pangapat na pagkakataon. What you have to do is to just get rid yung buong Um, pangalan ng grupo, ang i-include mo lang ay yung abbreviation nila, which is APA, open and close parenthesis 2020. So, ganun po iyon. Wag na wag po malilito. Next one, we have group authors without abbreviation. For example, we have University of California. Date of publication was August 1, 2017. We have parenthetical and narrative citation. So, In parenthetical citation, as you can see, since wala tayong ano, no, without abbreviation, of course, ang i-include mo dyan yung buong pangalan ng kanilang grupo, which is yung University of California, comma 2017. Kapag parenthetical, lahat ng iyon ay nakapaloob dun sa parenthesis. On the other hand, we have narrative citation. Here, napakadali, parang yung sa one author lang kanina. In narrative citation, nasa labas na ng parenthesis yung group of authors o yung group authors, which is yung University of California comma, ay sorry, University of California open and close parenthesis 2017. So, napakadaling tandaan lang yan. Okay? Kapag parenthetic lahat na sa loob and then kapag narrative, yung author o yung group of authors ay nasa labas. And ang naka-include ang naka lang sa parenthesis ay yung date of publication. Since walang abbreviation yung group authors dyan, wala ka nang poproblemahin. Napakadali lang yan. But what if kapag wala namang author na nabanggit? So, no author nakalagay dyan. So, here ang focus natin ay yung title. We have an example, economics. Date of publication was August 1, 2015. So, here hindi natin pwede siyang gamitan ng narrative citation. So, dito ang gagamitin lang natin kapag no author ang pinag-uusapan, ang palaging ginagamit ay yung parenthetical citation. So, what you have to do is open and close parenthesis and then economics o yung title nung mismong source mo o yung information na yon yung title na yon and then comma and then yung date of publication so wag niyo din kakalimutan yung quote quote diyan ah yung yung nasa economics part okay yung quote quote na sinasabi ko doon ay yung quotation mark okay wag niyo kakaligtaan yon dapat naka-include pa din siya next one we have citation of a work discussed in another or secondary source for example so here we have example Del Valle and Marchesa study open and close parenthesis as cited in Enrile Gozon Yanay and Agripa 2013 so originally yung nakapaloob dun sa ating close sa open and close parenthesis si Enrile Gozon Yanay and Agripa sila yung pinaka original na pinanggalingan ng idea or ng statement so ang nangyari secondary source ka na lang diyan bakit ikaw yung pangalawang nag-cite nung idea ni na Enrile Gozon Yanay and Agripa because yung unang nag-cite niyan ay si Del Valle and Mar Chesa. Meron ganun mga pagkakataon na pangalawa, pangalawa ka na sa magsasite doon sa idea nung nauna or nung pinaka-original na nag-site nung statement na yon. So, yung tinatawag na natin na work discussed in another source o yung tinatawag nating secondary source. Pangalawa ka na doon sa kumbaga, sinite nila yung work nung isa at dahil doon, nakitaan mo ng potential na yung idea yun or yung statement na yun ay may maitutulong sa iyong study. That's why nag-decide ka na maging secondary source nung statement na yun. 
So, sinight nila, uh, gusto mong isight yung sinight nila galing kay na Enrile, Gozo, Nyanay, and Agripa. So, basically, ikaw na yung pangalawang source. Yung una, ang pinaka-original source niyan, si na Enrile, ang, ang sumunod si na Del Valle and Marchesa. At kapag ganun yung nangyari, that falls under secondary source. Okay? So, si Knight, gusto mong isight yung si Knight nila Del Valle na kung saan ang original na nag talaga nun or yung nag-coin nun na originally ay si na Enrile. So, may mga ganong part. Okay? Huwag malilito po. Thanks for watching. See you in my next one. Please like, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit the bell button for more lessons to learn. Bye!